Hello and welcome you all to the third lecture of this docker series and in today's video we will we are going to see a very very important command of a docker so how we can delete all the containers at once and how we can inspect the containers so we will see what both of these commands do and how we can achieve the first one like how we can delete multiple container at once so let's get started with the mobile extents here we are and now i am going to run a multiple container like docker run okay so it will it should be basically as per the latest version docker container right so run this command again and again so now in the last once you will do docker container so it will be like we are not running any uh, any function or thing script onto this ubuntu server right you no know, any application is running inside so it will automatically exit right so how we can check that so ls will give you all the running containers and ls hyphen a will give you all the stopped and running containers both okay so now according to the interviewer your task is to delete all these containers all at once so what will be the command so you have to write docker container rm and after that see to uh, delete one container you can directly write the id correct of any of the container that will work but here we have to delete multiple container in that case what you have to do you have to write this dollar symbol okay inside that you have to list all the container first so how you list docker ls okay and after that you have to do what docker hyphen ls hyphen q hit enter so docker container rm maybe i think it will be curly brass here okay so what was the machine the command was docker container ls hyphen aq means if some container is running let uh, uh, force that to quit okay so now once we will check docker docker container ls hyphen a so see there is nothing it cleaned all the container at once docker container ls okay so there is nothing running correct now suppose we have ran a content like let me clear the screen let's go to the second scenario like i want to create a run a container docker into and into a detached mode how to do that docker container run hyphen d what will be the name of the container you can mention like running java app okay and what will be the image ubuntu make sure the image you are giving that uh, that is correct slip and 30 okay how to check it if the running containers docker container ls oh my god So this is this is your running container correct i want to inspect this container like which image it is using and so many properties of that so how we can do that this is going to be a very important one of the important command of docker 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 container inspect and here you have to provide the container id container id is c8 correct just hit enter and c this is what the output you are you will get this is going this is very very important command guys so you can check the status of your container what is the status like after 30 second 30 second it will it will get exited so that that's what it did along with that you can see what is the image image id here so this image id it is using docker image ls you can do apart from that you can see what are the cpu utilization and memory utilization it is taking okay and here you can list out all the mounts like suppose you want to attach some ebs volume right if you have attached to the docker hub you can see those all things from here 
okay and this is the host name of your container the container host name is this correct and here you can list down all the in which network your this container is attached to right now it is attached to a bridge network right so docker having the docker network we will see this part into the docker networking section like these are three type bridge network null network and one more is there so that we will see okay so that's it for this lecture we will see